This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for May 16th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up 0.97 points or 0.23% to 415.48. Trading volume was very light with only 57,825 shares changing hands at a trading value of around 89,000 US dollars or 363.3 million Khmer real. The Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority recorded the highest percent rise today by 1.11% or 80 real per share to a share price of 7,260 real. Pestec Cambodia PLC saw the second highest percent rise by 0.92% or 20 real per share to a share price of 2,190 real. Other stocks on the main board to see price increases were the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port and CamGSM PLC, while on the growth board, both DBD Engineering PLC and JS Land PLC saw percent increases as well. Only two stocks saw percentage drops, Mengli J. Quach Education PLC and Grand Twins International, which fell by 0.48 and 0.44% respectively. Akleda Bank PLC recorded the largest trading volume once again with 36,857 shares trading hands. In other market news, MGQ Education PLC released its first quarterly report for 2024, detailing a total revenue of 43.4 billion Khmer real or 10.7 million US dollars, which is a 16.57% increase from the company's Q1 2023 revenue, while net profit in the first quarter of 2024 increased by 6.56% compared to the same period in 2023, reaching roughly 8.8 .8 billion Khmer real or 2.19 million US dollars. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port, on the other hand, reported a decrease in net profit. Even though the company reported a quarter-on-quarter -quarter increase in revenue, net profit is down by 22.24%, with the reason cited being an increase in general and administrative expenses, impairment loss on receivables, and income tax expenses. Khmer Real to USD remained the same at 4,079, with the US dollar index slightly down, traded at 104.39. Brent oil futures held steady on Thursday, bolstered by signs of stronger demand in the U.S. after slower-than-expected inflation in April and lower oil stocks in the past week. Brent crude futures fell 25 cents or 0.3% to 82.50 U.S. dollars a barrel. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude shed 26 cents or 0.33% to 78.37 U.S. dollars. Gold prices hovered near a one-month high on Thursday as signs of inflation stabilizing in the U.S. increased the likelihood of rate cuts by the Federal Reserve as early as September. Spot gold was little changed at $2,383.86 US dollars per ounce. On the other hand, U.S. gold futures slipped 0.3% to $2,388.40 US dollars. U.S. stock index further inched higher on Thursday, putting Wall Street on track to extend gains from the all-time highs hit in the previous session as a tepid inflation report bolstered hopes of interest rate cuts. Dow Jones topped 40,000 for the first time on track to deliver a psychological boost to bulls. Dow Futures was up 0.07%, S&P Futures also up 0.07%, and Nasdaq Futures was up by 0.15%. This was Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for May 16, 2024.